going to make more trouble. We've about all we can stand in Lothering now. Well, those boys were trouble themselves, to tell the truth. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we have a full house. That monster killed three families, torn them up like a beast. The cage is too good for him, but it's the Chantry's idea of mercy. When Tian Logan marched by, he left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. I suppose that's you. I have no qualm with you, whatever the Tian says. My grandfather served. Your secret's safe with me. What can I get you then? Thank the Maker we didn't lose Tian Logan at Ostagar. He pulled his troops out just in time, so it said. Without him, we'd be lost. Anything else I can get you? I hear tell they held a funeral in Denerim for King Caelan. The Grand Cleric called for a full day of mourning, and there was a procession a mile long passing by the Brasier. It's too bad they don't have a body to properly burn. What happened to him at the hands of those creatures, it's unthinkable. Anything else I can get you? I hear news from Dinnerum that Tian Logan has been declared the new regent. It makes sense, his daughter being the queen. Anything else I can get you? With King Caelan dead, the throne falls to Queen Honora. She's made her father the regent, however, at least for now. I think Caelan's father, old King Merrick, would have approved. Anything else I can get you? I heard from some travellers that something bad might have happened in Redcliffe. Overrun by Darkspawn, maybe. There's no word from the village at all. A merchant friend of mine said he encountered someone fleeing the place and there was nothing waiting for him there but death. He wisely turned around and came right back. Anything else I can get you? Some folks aren't happy about Tian Logan being named Regent. There are rumours he had something to do with the King's death. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? The Darkspawn killed him, sure enough. If Tian Logan couldn't save the King from that end, then nobody could. Anything else I can get you? I've heard a lot of stories of bands of Darkspawn roaming the countryside far north of the Kokori Wilds. They just seem to appear out of nowhere and disappear just as fast. Anything else I can get you? I hear the Dwarven King is passed on. Old as he was, he was probably poisoned or assassinated. That's how the dwarves normally go out, isn't it? Anything else I can get you? Something's going on at the Mage's Tower at Lake Kalenhod. Nobody knows exactly what, though, and the Templars aren't saying. Exactly what we need, isn't it? Let's hope the Mages are just cooking up something to deal with the Darkspawn. Somebody should be, after all. Anything else I can get you? I hear that Tia Logain, the regent, is calling for new levies of troops. He wants to rebuild the army we lost at Astagar. Thing is, there's not a lot of spare men to be found. Out of Dragon's Peak, there's press gangs roaming around, grabbing any free man they can lay their hands on. Anything else I can get you? I hear from folks travelling the East Roads that there's werewolves in the Brazilian forest. Actual werewolves. They haven't been around since the days of Dane and his ilk. Anything else I can get you? It's said the North Road Inn serves a shepherd's pie containing actual shepherds. Seems the innkeeper has something against the flocks being brought too near his own fields. Anything else I can get you? Some hunters who range into the Brazilian forest say that a Dalish clan there has fallen to some kind of sickness. The blight, most likely, poor sods. Anything else I can get you? There's talk that King Caelan was cheating on the Queen and she found out about it. That's why Tyrn Logain abandoned Caelan at Ostagar. Anything else I can get you? There's knights from Redcliffe spread all over Ferelden on some kind of mission, but I hear that they're starting to become rare to find. Maybe they all went back to Redcliffe. More likely they got tired of searching for something that can't be found and abandoned their search. I wonder what Earl Eamon is going to do without any knights. Anything else I can get you? I don't know what to tell you. Nothing I can think of at the moment. I decided to do all of those because the news that he has 
actually foretell some of the things that's to come. So, um, I want to try to, in every city that we go into where there's a, a barkeep or something, if they have news, I want to try to get that news because it does, you know, open up the storyline and give you a taste of what's to come. So, let's see. What's next? Oh, him. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orlais. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. Now, it's kind of weird that he's here giving out quests with a Darkspawn horde coming down. That just doesn't make any sense. I'm wondering, Morrigan, do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. This video is probably going to be a long one because I think in about a half hour or so I can finish Lothering. Instead of breaking it into two videos, let's see. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. Is there something I can do for you then? Again? We have already discussed this and I told you I would not release the creature. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. You don't trust a Grey Warden. Really? I mean, what am I going Hello to do? Hello again. What can I do for you? I see. That is certainly worthy of notice. Tan Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims, but either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though, just in case. I cannot openly help you, I fear, but here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. After we get through some of this chitty chat, 
Um, we're going to delve into the lore, I think. I like to look at the lore of a place before we leave it, if possible. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Why would I? If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. No, he's not. Well, I guess he is. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. My mission takes priority, but I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. Okay, let's see if... Uh... You would not be the first to think so, but avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Best get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. And that's the only dialogue, huh? I want to know because the guy said that there's a book here in the library that gives me all this lore, so where... I mean, did I pick the book up already? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see what's next. I don't want to miss anything because, um... Uh, Have a care long. where your eyes linger, Alistair. Yes, well, don't worry. It's not what you think. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. I hate you so much. Hmm? What? Never mind. <laughs> so easy to get to. You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. So be it. Set me free, and I will follow you against the Blight. I have...
have spent my life in the Vanguard. I know war, and your lands need all the help they can get. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Of all the- Yes. We're gonna have to gear him up. But I'm glad to have him in my party. Voila, he's geared. <laughs> I just took the armor that I already had in my inventory. Uh, that I didn't use for Alistar. I was saving it for him. And Ogren or whatever his name is. You've got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Ever since Good King Kaelin passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the Elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft, or worse. <coughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry is seeing to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. Um. Too much to do, and not enough time. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. While I take care of some miscellaneous stuff and we have some battles coming up, let's learn a little bit about Lothering. In ancient times, Lothering was little more than a trading post that served the fortress of Ostagar to the south. Nowadays, it is larger, serving Redcliffe and the community of merchants and surface dwarves near Orzammar. Its location on the North Road gives it strategic, wow, I can't talk today, strategic value. So control of Lothering has historically been a matter of contention between the southern Banor and the south reach Arling. King Callahan himself stepped in and awarded the town to South Reach in the Exalted Age, which has largely ended the feud, or at least the appearance of it. Following the defeat of the king at Ostagar, Lothering was hit hard by the Dark Spawn and was wiped out. Templar soldiers and even ragtag groups of bandits helped to defend fleeing refugees when the assault began. Several years later, after the defeat of the Archdemon, settlers drifted back to into the village, and Elder Miriam and the village council rebuilt Lothering slowly. A new a chantry was constructed, with a shrine dedicated to the hero of Ferelden, along with the countless others who gave their lives defending Ferelden against the Blight. Now, I didn't know that. Did you know that? After completing one of the main quest lines, Lothering becomes permanently inaccessible, which Morgan said. She, remember she said, you are you ready to leave yet because we may not be able to come back? Anyway, it was annihilated by the advancing Dark Star. For this reason, it is ill-advised to simply ignore the people in quests within. Completing the urn of sacred ashes will also lead to the destruction of the town, even if none of the four main quest lines have been finished. However, it is possible to complete the village of Haven, the ruined temple, uh, temple segments, including slaying the high dragon, without triggering Lord, Lord, Lothering's destruction. Just don't enter or complete the gauntlet, which will trigger it. Now, I wanted to tell, uh, say this, even though it's like a spoiler. Um, most of the people that watch this have already played through the game, but if you wanted to do something different and um, 
save Lothering, then that's the way to do it. An important thing to note in this regard is that if you do not speak to Patter Gritch, which is the Irregulars guy, inside the Lothering Chantry as part of the Scraping the Barrel quest, you will be unable to complete this quest should Lothering be destroyed prior to you speaking to this character. Consequently, the final quest for the Blackstone Irregulars will be unattainable, as it is only given once all other irregular quests have been completed. Right in front of the Chantry is a traumatized, raving, chastened man, properly tagged as a doomsayer. If a bystander concludes that he has, um, that he's right about them all being doomed, and if the warden proclaims that there is no hope for any of you fools, you can choose to milk them of 45 silver with no negative approval, uh, regardless of who is present. If you decline Liliana's request to join the party at Dane's Refuge, she will appear again near the northern map exit and ask if you have reconsidered her offer. Now, again, I mention these things for those that have played through the game and want to do another playthrough and want to do something different. I am going to let Lothering fall because I think that's the natural progression of things. And um, I want there to be severe uh, consequences for Logan's actions. Un it's unfortunate. I do feel better that people were able to get away and uh, Lothering is brought back, but I do intend to kill Logan, not only for... Um, because I do, I mean, of course I'm going to kill the Arl. Uh, how? If, like, let me get my hands on him. He's dead. But um, Loghain and Hal put a bounty on my head. <laughs> Loghain wants me dead. And I think that there should be a severe punishment for the king's death and his betrayal. Because thousands or hundreds, I don't know how many people were on that field, died for no reason simply because of his beliefs that's the ultimate betrayal so i am going to kill Logan. but um i think that that's good that they put a way for lothering to survive no matter what you do because even though i am going to let lothering fall it is going to survive and i find it ironic that liliana comes back and gives you another option to um, add her to your party. Now, I do wonder as we go through the game, and I'm going through more thoroughly this time, uh, do the other characters do that? Because you get, um, like, I believe there was a, an option to say, no, I don't want Morgan in my party, but that would have been foolish because she's a major part of the storyline. I could have left Sten there, you know? I can kill Zevron, I believe. We'll see. I mean, I'm not going to kill him, but I'm also not going to romance him because that was another thing that got to me. If somebody's trying to kill me, I'm uh, not going to fall in love with him. It, just, it is what it is. Even if he falls in love with me, the trust would not be there. That's just my personality. So, <clears throat> yeah, that was another reason why the playthrough wasn't going through. Because I like Zevron, don't get me wrong, but Zevron is no Fenris. So, okay, upcoming fight. Are we done with this place? It may not be here later, should we leave now? See? We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Enemy! Now, the mentality of not caring whether or not the bounty is legit, it would feed the families. That's, that's... I can see that, particularly when you need money to be able to, to leave. I mean, think about it. I mean, this is not like today where you can just get in your car and, and, and go. But even still, if you don't have the money to put the gas in the car, you're, you're not using that car, are you? 
so uh, they're gonna die because they should not have engaged me in a fight but uh, I can definitely see uh, where they were coming from from that standpoint um, yeah desperate times calls for def desperate measures and uh, I want to check and make sure and I apologize with my last playthrough I, I don't think I looked at the journal at all but I am making an attempt. I want to, you know, make sure I'm doing things right. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. I, don't feel I like didn't mean them. to bother you. Sorry. I um am purposely don't skipping you ever talk? the guy. You know, make polite conversation just to put people at ease. You mean that I should remark upon the weather before I cut off a man's head? Never mind. I am purposely skipping um the guy that wants poison and doing the traps because it's kind of pointless, so I'm purposely skipping them. But you can do them. I just wanted to let you know I'm not missing it. I'm purposely not doing it. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. Okay, now... I'm checking this again. <laughs> Because I want to make sure that uh, I'm not missing anything huge. Okay. Now, I wonder how many people clear the board and don't go back and check it. You know? Alright, I uh, sold some stuff. And uh, let's level, level her up. I uh, am a little bit curious about keeping the dog in the party. That's something that I normally don't do. And I'm wondering, I, I was going with Sten and Alistar because I wanted two tanks. Now, historically, Alistar and uh, Sten suck in the beginning. I'm going to try it because I definitely want to do the banter. And uh, this time, I've never really had Sten like me. So I, I would like to do that, um, but I would like to see, I would like to have a two tank, two mage party, and um, I just don't see the point in having the rogues, as particularly since I have the lock bash mod, um, so that I can open all the chests. In my experience, yeah, I mean, you saw with Zevran, he just died and died and died. But what I really would like, you know, with two squishy characters, I'm playing a squishy character, um, is to have two tanks that can hold the aggro while we blast them down from afar. Now, that may mean that I may have to respect them because that means that they don't necessarily have to do a lot of damage, but they should have a lot of stanima. Shame she died. Okay, um, so I may do that. I have a... Um, they're easy to respec. I have the respec mod um, where you find the raven or something like that, but it's just easier if I want to respec is to just use the console and do run script respec and do that so um, we'll see how it goes I'll be tweaking <laughs> I'll be tweaking that and see if that'll actually work Alistair in my previous playthroughs dies a lot in the beginning and that's probably because I did not have him properly specced for the job that I wanted him to do which would make that my fault you know so I take responsibility blessed are the peacekeepers champions of the just and the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. 
all was silent in prayer and thanks. Now, I know this video is going to be a little on the longer side, but I just didn't... I don't see the point in splitting it up into two. Um, particularly since this is a, um, you know, a small area. I am going to get shale. Um, in, in the last one that I retired, I got shale early because um, I thought that she made an efficient tank. But as you saw... You know, Shale, I spend a lot of time healing Shale. So maybe I wasn't understanding her talents or her abilities well. I'm not sure. I will have Shale in my party eventually. Um, but because I want to get all of the banter. But I, I do want to have... Oh, when I get Win, I will probably exchange uh, Morrigan for Win. So that I have a full-time healer. And then I might respect. Now I'll probably keep. Because having that second heal comes in handy. I'm not even going to front. It comes in handy a lot of times. So I will probably keep the heal. But I'm actually thinking about doing a blood mage. I have never done a blood mage before. So I think that it would be an interesting twist. Now, is, now I'm not sure if Morgan is a blood mage. <laughs> Um, but I think that it would be interesting to have Alistar marry a blood mage when he used to be a Templar. I mean, marrying a mage in, in the first place is just, you know, unheard of. You know, well, I mean, I think it would be a sticky thing for him. And I think that just sort of adds to the storyline and makes it more like Zevran when you fall in love with someone even when you don't want to that would definitely be Alistar falling in love with a mage particularly a blood mage so I'm gonna look into that as well <clears throat> because uh, I think that would be an interesting twist and it would give some diversity to it I don't know what did you think what do you guys think do you think it's worth going into the blood ra uh, blood mage spec is there anything um, an advantage to doing that if so, let me know. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wounds. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? One thing I didn't do in my last playthrough that I intend to do on this one, I was so busy focusing on Zevron, I let his uh, storyline really slide. I think I might have explored it a little bit, but, you know, not all that much. So, uh, the next video, we're leaving Lothering and we'll be in camp. Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, 
When I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me too. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. <laughs> 